So in this question, uh, white blood cell or WBC count per cubic millimetre of whole blood has an approximately normal distribution uh, with a mean, I'll just draw this, a mean of 7500 and a standard deviation of 1750. And it says here <clears throat> that the lowest 2% of all WBC counts are defined to be probable risks. So the lowest 2%, 2%. How low must one's WBC count to fall in that at-risk group? So we're looking for that there. So we're looking at an inverse normal problem here. Okay, so we need to pull out our calculator. So on our calculator, we go distributions, normal, inverse normal. Uh, this is a left tail over here, so we'll leave it as a left tail. So for those people with older calculators, it's easy as well. Uh, we then go down to the area, and the area is 2%, so that is a decimal, is 0 0.02. Don't forget to make sure you put 0 0.02 in this case. Common mistake of people to make a mistake at that point. Standard deviation is 1750, and the mean is 7500. Press execute, and we get that our... Uh, value is 3905.93. So what that's saying is that this value here is 3905.94 if you round it to some points. So what we're saying is that to be in the bottom 2% or uh, you're below that um, WBC count. So you would say uh, 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 below or from 3905.94 um, WBC count uh, and, and below is the lowest 2% value or something like that. That's a, a merit question or a value question. So that's how you work out that particular problem.